everybody what's going on I'm back as you guys can tell I'm back back in California back in my hometown and um I'm back I guess I mean I miss Canada Canada was so nice it was such a beautiful place Definitely recommend going there. It was fun. Anyways, okay. So let's get into the breakdown of my trip, right? I mean, you guys want to know what I did? If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you pretty much you pretty much know what I was doing. But there's a whole lot I did. So Saturday, I got there and I checked into my hotel. I explored the explored my area a little bit. Got got the feel. Got to know what was around. Um. Um, went on a little, like, social app to find out what was happening around in Canada, you know. Got invited to a party, and I was really hesitant to go, just because it's like, random people are inviting me to a party. Like, that's a little sketch. Usually parties are kind of not meant, like, just to be open like that. Especially since it was a birthday party, I was like, hmm. But I said, you know what, I'm in Canada, I have nothing better to do. I don't want to stay home, so yeah, let's go. So I took a little bit of my money. I was made sure that if they robbed me, they were only gonna get like fifty bucks. <clears throat> but it turned out to be the these two girls, and I was like, okay, cool, you know, nothing to worry about. Well, I was still on guard a little bit, but after a little bit, I I, got, I relaxed because I realized they were cool, and we got to the party, and it was it was fun. So I realized, it was, oh, it was good. It was no robbing is gonna happen to me today. Had a good time, was drinking, was playing cards, met some guy who plays Smash, I gotta add him on, that's where I gotta add him on the Nintendo. Um, it's currently 420, this will go up on Friday, but the day after 420, but right now it's 420, so even if I did add, ask him to play, uh, I doubt he is going to be f free or able to play, because he's going to be probably stoned out of his mind. I was, um... Uh, I'm talking to one of the girls, and she says that she saw him at the 420 festival, and he's she, he doesn't even recognize her because he's so high, which is hilarious. And um, uh, what was I going with that? Oh yeah, it's uh, 420. Weed is legal over there, so everyone's enjoying and celebrating and having a fantastic time. I got Snapchat, and there's like a festival, and there's everywhere set up, and it's just like it, it looks like a grand old time. But yeah, so Saturday we went to the party. We stayed up until like five in the morning. Had fun. The girl brought out a, the girl brought out a Ouija board, and I was like, "No, thank you." And everyone at the party was like, "No, we'll just we'll, we'll just not do that, thanks." And it was, uh, she's cool, but it was like, "Oh fuck, that that was bad." And then the girl that invited me to the party left in the morning because what she told us was that she didn't want to clean. But apparently she did have some stuff going on too. She had to go to a place called Mission and had to go with her family. So she left really early. So I was left there with the other girl I met and everyone at the party who I, you know, was met for the first time. And I was just like, this is great. I spent the night here and I I, I, I don't know anyone besides what I, well, actually, no. It, it felt good. I felt comfortable. I didn't feel like, ah. We all ended up going out and getting breakfast. So that was cool. It's a place called Fat Burger. I think we have it here in California and it's. It was really good. Like, it was delicious. Got myself a nice fat breakfast. Then Sunday, I went to my hotel. I played Dragon Ball Fusions for, like, hours and then passed out for hours because I uh, I was so tired. Thursday, I got five hours of sleep for work uh, going to Friday. Friday to Saturday, I only slept for two hours. I went to bed around midnight and woke oh, 11.30 and woke up around 1.30 or midnight to 2. Something like that, because I had to be at the airport by, oh my, the plane left at 5, so I kind of wanted to be there early, because I don't know how early I had to be there. And then, Saturday, I went to bed at like 5.40 and woke up at like 8, which is 3 hours, so I had like 9 hours, uh, maybe 10, 9 to 10 hours of sleep, all together, for 3 whole days, you know, which is supposed to be like 1 day, and I'm just like, ah... But anyways, so yeah, I did that. Uh, Sunday rested. 
Sunday night, I went out. I went to a bar, and these guys were getting a little uh, this there's like a mu- live music, and it was interesting. It was weird. I didn't get nothing because I was hungry, and I didn't have change, so I didn't want to like have them break a fifty for a six dollar drink. So I was like, I'm just gonna head out. Then I went to a diner down the street. It had live music. It had a bar. I got some mac and cheese and a a thing called a hey y'all. I don't know if they ha- a hey ya or a hey y'all. I don't know. I don't know if they have it here in California, but it's it's hard iced tea, and it's it's super good. It was it was yummy. Then after that, I went back home to the hotel, figured out what I was gonna do tomorrow, then got everything planned and went to bed. Woke up the next day. I went to the aquarium in the morning. I woke up, uh, went all the way across town to get to the aquarium. Uh, I had a good time with the aquarium. I'll put some pictures up on my social media so you guys can look at those. Uh, my links to my my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, they're all down in the description of like every video. So if you guys ever like, if you guys don't have me or you want to add me on social media, you know, bam, 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 bam. They're right there. They're right there. Um, and then, yeah, from there you guys can message me and talk to me personally or whatever. But, um, so that, that was fun. Then I was, I was going to take this bus back, but I decided to walk because I wanted to explore. And I, I explored for about three hours all around just Vancouver. And it was, it was fun. I went to Chinatown, saw a lot of places, didn't re- re- couldn't read anything because it was all in, Je- in Chinese and it was fun. And then, um, this is Monday. I went back to my hotel to charge my phone and stuff, and I bought myself a pack of Smirnoff because the legal drinking age over there is 19 and I'm 20, so I didn't realize that until I got there, but I could like drink and smoke weed and do whatever I want pretty much. It's pretty much I can do whatever I want, you know, as if I was 21 in America, which is cool, but uh, more on that later. And um. So I, got, I bought that, I had my first drink, my first legal drink that I bought for myself, besides the one the other day where I bought it in the in the bar. Um, that was fun. Then I went to go to a strip club on Monday night, but they were closed for Easter Monday, which sucked. But then I realized there's another place open called the Swedish Touch, and I was like, what the hell is this? I want to go check it out. But I was cautious about checking it out, and I said, maybe not. So I, what I did was I was on my phone looking it up. I looked up the reviews and stuff on it. It turns out it's like a masseuse parlor where it's really the massages are there, but it's more about the whoop whoop whoop. You know, it's you pay the girls for that more. It's like a yeah. I don't know how it, what they're called, but you you guys get what I'm talking about. So I'm glad I didn't go into that because I don't I don't I don't know if I would pay for it. I mean, I don't know if I would pay for sex, so it just, I, I don't know, I didn't do it, and then I ended up going around, walking around, and I headed to a bar, all the nightclubs were closed, everything was closed for Easter Monday, so that kind of sucked, um, I ended up going to a place called the Old Spaghetti Factory, which is just like a, a nice Italian restaurant, but it, uh, it was haunted apparently, you know, Vancouver legend says it's haunted. I didn't get to see anything, but the waitress did say that it was haunted, and people have seen some stuff. So that was cool. I really hope it was, because then that would be a nice little... Well, it's still fun to say I went there. And there are stories of people, like, seeing other, like, ghosts, or uh, a whole bunch of the tableware, silverware, just being flipped upside down and being bent, and it's, like, crazy. Like, how could that happen? But the, um, So that was cool. And then after that, I had a bottle, I had a glass of wine, which is good, some clam chowder and um, a, some bread, because I wasn't too hungry, but I wanted to eat there, because I wanted to experience that. And so, I was, I just walked home after that, because I didn't feel too good. I don't know if, that, if the wine was bad, or if my body didn't take it too well, but I had like a stomach ache, and my head hurt, and it was really weird, so I just went home to go lie down. I'm kind of sad, though, because I missed out on this, uh... One bar I could have went to, which was karaoke night, and I love singing, so that would have been fun, but, you know, I missed out. So then Tuesday comes around, and I go down to a place called False Creek Olympic Village, which is a place where I went to buy a DS charger, because I forgot to bring my DS charger to Canada. Only thing I forgot. Um, 
because my my DS was dying from playing so much Dragon Ball Fusions uh, on the airplane ride there and on su on Sunday. So I'm there and I'm walking around town, and I was gonna take a bus back to my hotel so I could relax, charge my stuff, and then go hang out with um a friend of mine on Tuesday. But that didn't end up happening. I ended up just walking around town for like hours on end. I went to the Canuck Stadium, which is their hockey team, Vancouver Hockey. I wanted to see if I could get a souvenir, but I didn't really see anything I wanted or I liked. Um, I ended up walking around. I wanted to go to the bathroom, but I had to, uh, to the washroom, I'm sorry. To the washroom, but I had to buy something. So I bought myself Canadian Draft beer and some tortilla chips at this place called Taquerine Korean. And I, I don't want to try the Mexican food because I don't know Canadian, Korean, Mexican food would actually be all that good. But, you know, I'll never know. I'll, go, I'll know next time when I go because I'm going to go back. That's for sure, 100%. Don't know if I can move there yet, but I'm going back for 100%. And then, um, yeah, so there's that. And um, what do you call it? I walked around a little bit more. Um... Ended up walking all the way back to near my hotel. Somehow, I don't know. I, w I walked a lot. I walked, I, I want to say, at least four miles a day over there in Vancouver. It was nice. And um, I found some souvenir shop. Bought myself a souvenir. A shirt called Spider Bear. It has It's Spider-Man, but it, I don't have it around. It has a bear and has a spider on it. A spider suit on it. It's called Spider Bear. Brought my brother a, a Canada Snapback. Um, some Five Nights at Freddy's shoes from the where I bought my DS charger, and my sister a um, a Vancouver pink shirt. It was cute for her. Um, my dad wanted a newspaper, so I got a newspaper, and then I brought home a bottle of maple syrup from Canada, 100% maple syrup, and it was cool. It, it's like it's actual liquid. It's not like gooey shit we have. It's like actual liquid. It's it's really nice. It's even when it's cold, it's liquid. Not only when it's melted and hot. It's it's really cool. And then I went back to the hotel so I could charge my stuff for a little bit. And then she said, okay, I'm on my way. So I, I got on a bus to go to meet her. And it was the girl it was a girl from the party that brought out the Ouija board. She was she's one of the best people I've met in a long time. She's awesome. And then um so we were hanging out. We went to the Vancouver Art Gallery because it was two on two it was free on Tuesday nights from five to nine PM. But you know, we can't appreciate art. We tried our best, but we just ended up making fun, having a fun time. Then we were walking around for a bit. Went to this place called the Warehouse, where food was four ninety five for all food all day, and um, the only thing that was expensive were the drinks. And it, even then, it wasn't expensive. She wanted me to get a drink, so I bought a drink. It's called a, a, a porn star. I don't know what's in it, but it was delicious. And then um, all this happened on. It's the party day Saturday, but she introduced me to a place called Tim Hortons, which I don't know if we have here in California, but we need some because it was delicious. I only had these things called ice caps, which is like an ice cappuccino, and it was like really good. Like I don't like coffee, or in, in I don't even ever go to Starbucks, but I would go to ice. Uh, I would go to Tim Hortons because Tim Hortons is good, and ice caps are really delicious. But um, yeah, and then after the after that we after the warehouse. We walked around for a bit, try to find, um, we walked, we walked by some tattoo stores. I was kind of thinking about getting a Canadian tattoo, but I didn't, um, went to a, a comic shop and that was really fun. They had really cool stuff. A lot of big selection. It was really great. A lot of cool anime stuff too. And then we went to a strip club called Paramount. I don't know. It was 18 plus because she was 18. She's 18 and she's not, nah, she wasn't turning 19 until Wednesday. So I wanted to go to the strip club for the 19 and up because they served alcohol and I could watch women, you know, whatever. But um, ended up not working out. We went to the 18 and over one, which was still fun. Since the, it was 18 and they didn't serve alcohol, the women got fully naked. When they go to a 19 and up, since they serve alcohol, the women don't get 100% naked. They get only in their bikinis. So it doesn't really matter. It was a fun time nonetheless. It was kind of weird though going to a strip club for the first time with you know a girl that I had just met and I was just like, oh by the way she has a boyfriend so yeah so it, that was that made it less awkward because you know I'm not like in the in the, the uh, in the market for her she's not in the market and I'm not looking for it for her so we were just like two friends hanging out and um, it was cool we had some fun we I actually ended 
I opened up a lot to her, more than I probably should have, but it was cool. She she took it pretty well, and it was over a lot a lot of music. So I don't know if she heard everything, but she heard a good portion of it. Um, really cool, really cool girl. Then her boyfriend ended up showing up like at eleven o'clock, and we hung out for forty five minutes. And then we decided to yo, we gotta get going. We gotta go celebrate because it's her birthday, Wednesday the nineteenth, April nineteenth. As soon as it hit midnight, we were on our we were in a, tr in a on a bus going to a bus, and I was just like, okay, fantastic, and um, uh, excuse me, sorry, um, whoa, I blanked for a second. We were downtown walking down where all the the clubs and the bars were. And she was so indecisive, and the boyfriend was indecisive, and I was indecisive, but she said if I picked that night, then she would pick for tomorrow. So I picked a place called Roxy Burger. Had terrible burgers, but it had delicious drinks. And we bought, like, Jaeger bombs and stuff, and we had some shots. And after one shot, she was, like, feeling it. I don't know why it was so early, but we had fun. And then we ended up staying out that night until, like, 3 in the morning? Almost 4? And then we ended up getting a, a cab going back to my place because um, they live like way out there. Like it would, there was no buses, no trains running that late at night or that early in the morning. So they didn't, I didn't want them to go all the way back on a taxi because that would have been expensive as hell. So I let them spend the night at my hotel and I realized they could have robbed me dry in the middle of the night because I, I passed out and they were gone before I woke up. But they didn't because it's Canada and everyone's awesome there. It's like, sometimes in Canada, it's a race to see who's going to open the door first to hold it for the other people. It's Everyone there is so polite. Even the drivers are passive-aggressive. Like, it's just like, Canada is amazing. I, I mean, people from San Jose, please don't go to Canada. Fuck all of you guys. Don't go to Canada. If you're from the big city, Calif you're from San Francisco, you know, Oakland, from San Jose, don't go to Canada. I beg of you, please don't go to Canada. If people call you an asshole, if you consider yourself an asshole and you drive like a maniac and you flipping people off and, you know, you're an angry person, please, please, please just don't fucking go to Canada. Stay the fuck away from it. Go to Mexico. Go to China. Go anywhere else. Stay the fuck out of Canada. Canada is such a holy and pure place. Like, oh my God. Everyone there is passive aggressive, if that. Like, they're driving, and you could pull out right in front of them, because there's a couple of those, and they're, or you could walk out in the middle of the street when it's not your turn, and the people stop, and they kind of give you, like, a frowny face, and they're like, oh, okay. But they don't get mad. They don't start honking their horn, yelling out their window, what the fuck are you, they don't do none of that. They're all just so nice. Even the construction workers look friendly. Like, I, I don't know anywhere else I've seen construction workers, I feel like I could just walk up to them, like, oh, hey, how's it going, man? You think you could get me in here at the IBW in Canada because I want to move here? Like, <sighs> I miss it already. I miss Canada. It's been like a day and I fucking want to go back. Like, even just a day, being a day here, I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't want to be here no more. I want to go home. I want to go home to Canada. I, I, I said I want to go home. I'm currently in my house recording this, but I said I want to go home back to Canada without even thinking about, oh my God. Like, I want to go back to Canada. I really do. I want to try and move there. I want to go back in August. I don't know if it's going to happen because of the finances, but if, if, if I can, I would go back in August. That would be fantastic. Anime Expo, uh, Revolution in Canada over there in August. And I would love to go back. Um, then Wednesday, I woke up, cleaned up, checked out of my hotel. Um, decided I was going to go back to... Um, well, I had plans to meet up with them again later on in the day after 12 because they had appointments to go to. And... Um, I 
I walked all the way down to Grandsville, which is like, I think, six, four kilometers away from the hotel. So I was walking all day. Then we ended up getting pho, because that was on our list of things to do. And then I went to, well, then it was her turn to pick, because, you know, I picked a bar last night. So we went to a place called, I don't know what it's called, but you, like, go up in an elevator super high, and you get a whole look of the area. I got a few good pictures of that, too. It was really nice. And then, um... We, after that, we went to a cat cafe. We were trying to find it because I was curious about it. And that was cool. But it was a cat were asleep. So just like, cats do something. But they're all, you know, just sleeping because cats sleep all day. And then, um, uh, we were at a mall because that's where the cat cafe was. And we, we, we wanted to go to an arcade because we all like video games. Or we saw like an arcade, but it was closed and we got sad. And then we realized there's an arcade upstairs near the movie theater. So we went up there and they were playing some, we played some racing games, played some um, air hockey. I played some air hockey with the boyfriend and I beat him six to seven. It was a really close game. Like he, he's one of the best air hockey guys I've played in a while. Like he made, he made it really close. I almost lost. It was really close. And then, um, yeah, we walked back to the. We started walking all the way back to the, the Sky Train or whatever the trains are called that goes from underground and goes to the airport. They walked me all the way to that train. And then we had our goodbyes and I'm back now. Drove back at like midnight because I uh, my plane left Vancouver at 6.57. Got to Seattle around 7.30. Had an hour and a half layover. Left Seattle at 9.50, got to California about 11 something, uh, got to my car around midnight, drove home. For some reason the roads were closed and there was an accident or something, so I was there but um, for a while, for a little bit. But then I got, I got home and I got home around 2.30, stayed up till 5 in the morning because uh, terrible, terrible things were happening in my mind at the time. The whole drive back and the whole time I was home, terrible, terrible things were happening in my mind. But, you know... They're 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 calm down now, I should say, and um, yeah, it's been it was great. I'm currently looking forward to going back, hopefully in August for Anime Revolution. Um, currently looking into getting back into school, going to Gav instead of just working, because I want to be a um a park ranger one day. Hopefully, I can get my two years, get my GE, and then become a park ranger. That'd be really great. Um, Canada has a bunch of parks. I could go be a park ranger over there. That'd be fantastic. And, um, yeah, a lot of things have opened up to me. A lot of things. A lot of personal things I don't really want to discuss on this because I feel like you guys don't need to know some of them. Um, I know you guys, I tell you guys everything, but even that's like that personal, like, it's, it's, it's here. Like, it's, it's deep. And, um, yeah. A lot of a lot of things are being brought to light and are I can look clearly and see better now so yeah anyways guys thank you all so much for watching um, I'll be back with your regularly scheduled programming soon enough just give me some time to edit and record some more but it'll all be coming back so hope you guys enjoy this video hope you guys got the feel like how it was for me being in Canada Oh, I didn't even tell you guys, a terrible thing happened to me while I was leaving the airport in the, before, like, it, it, it got my mindset to, like, the worst, it was the worst, I had the most terrible mindset ever, and I just, I hated everything for, like, a good three hours, until I got to Canada, but, I don't, I'm over it now, um, someone brought, I, I told someone about it, they're gonna I don't know if they're gonna take it in their own hands I'm not gonna bring it up anymore um payback is a bitch that's all I can say so I hope you guys all enjoyed it thank you so much for watching I'll be back I'm gonna leave a poll on my Twitter and on Facebook asking what you guys want to see because I'm running out of ideas for games to play so comment down below what you guys want to see or vote in one of those polls for me okay thank you so much I love you all Hope you have a great time. Hope you had a great um, time listening to it. Inspired you to go somewhere and travel because it's fantastic. Traveling is a fantastic experience. So do it for yourself. But if you're an asshole, don't go to Canada.
Thank you all so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.